I get a regular stream of questions from people asking me if they should buy Synth Workstation X or Arranger Keyboard Y. Now, this always puzzles me because this is an apples to orange comparison or, more literally, a Synth to Arranger Keyboard comparison. They are completely different instrument categories. Therefore, there is no easy answer to the question. I get the impression that many viewers do not fully understand the differences and similarities between these two instruments, so let's discuss that today. Someone once said, partly in jest, but it's often true, that synths have vertical faders for the volume control, whilst home keyboards and arrangers have round knobs. But there's actually more to it than that. It might be helpful if I mention a few examples. In the synth workstation category, we have the Yamaha Modi X, Montage, Korg Nautilus, and the Roland FA and Phantom. Popular arrangers include the Korg PA series, Yamaha PSR, and their Tyros and Genos. Let's start with the obvious and not so obvious similarities. Both are keyboard instruments, usually with 61 keys and a control panel full of faders, knobs, switches and buttons. These days they are usually equipped with a central large LCD, often a touchscreen dominating the front panel. There are many similarities in the features too. Most synthesizer workstations, just like arranger keyboards, have gigabytes of high-quality multi-sampled instrument sounds on board, ranging from acoustic instruments like piano, guitar, to orchestral and ethnic sounds. Both have a wide variety of electronic sounding synth tones, like pads, basses and leads. There will also be a huge variety of acoustic and electronic drum kits on board. categories of keyboards are multi-timbral, meaning that they can play lots of different sounds at the same time on different MIDI channels. There's usually a MIDI sequencer on board and often an audio recorder for creating songs and capturing your performances. So what exactly does an arranger do that a synth can't? Ba, do, 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 ba, da, do, do, ba, 
The most noticeable physical difference is that the arrangers nearly always have a built-in amplifier and speakers, sounding very good actually on the higher end models. This is extremely convenient when playing at home or in smaller venues. Synthesizers very rarely have speakers, and if they do, they are just a small, tinny sounding gimmick. Now, this might seem like a strange oversight, but the assumption, I think, from the brands is that synthesizers will be connected to a mixing desk and PA system, or to a decent pair of studio monitor speakers. The absolute main difference that you really need to understand is that arrangers offer real-time accompaniment. This means that the keyboard will generate backing tracks for you whilst you play, sounding like a real band or orchestra accompanying your performance. Okay, pretty cool style here. Drums are fabulous. Whoever says that arranger keyboards sound corny, think again. Nice fill. Let's go on to the second variation. to the third one then I'm going to show you how we can tweak these. Okay now it's getting real busy. Maybe a bit too much in my opinion. Sure some synthesizers come close and give you this illusion by using sophisticated multi-track arpeggiators that adapt to what you are playing but they fall way short of the functionality offered by arranger keyboards. A typical arranger has a staggering number of buttons which allow you to adjust the backing tracks as you perform, such as switching between different variations for verse and chorus, or triggering fills, intros and outros. It's a huge amount of fun and no synthesizer offers this level of control. The very best arrangers allow you to connect a microphone and mix in your voice with effects and even apply auto-tune and generate harmonies. So the synthesizer is feeling like the underdog here, but what are its advantages? Before we get into that, we need to define a workstation synth. This is a synth that is capable of playing many different sounds at the same time, with built-in effects and with a MIDI and audio sequencer 
for creating and arranging an entire composition on board the synth without ever needing to connect to a computer. If you purchase a professional workstation synth, then you can expect a rugged and well-built instrument that is built for a life on the road. Even the high-end arrangers are much less sturdy with a lot more plastic in the construction. The primary advantage of synthesizers is that they have much more powerful synthesis engines with the ability to edit the sounds in much more depth. This is ideal for those who want to edit or create their own sounds. You'll also find more focus on synthesizer sounds on a real synth whereas the arranger keyboard will generally put more emphasis on acoustic and orchestral sounds, which are needed to create the realistic accompaniments. You could argue that synthesizers are cooler. Synths have a more professional appearance and a better reputation amongst other musicians. The problem with arrangers is that they pack in every musical style under the sun. Many of these styles might not be to everybody's taste and end up sounding quite cheesy. Another interesting difference to note is that arranger keyboards, especially the higher end models, tend to be incredibly expensive for what they are, costing much more than their equivalent professional synthesizer and digital piano counterparts. So, before sending me an email asking me whether you should buy a synth or an arranger, ask yourself the following questions to decide what's important for you. Very light keyboard, easy to play wrong notes. Do you want or need the auto accompaniment? Do you want built-in speakers? Do you need a rugged professional touring instrument? Do you want to create your own sounds? Let's carry on again. Variation three, okay? You wouldn't normally have a break like this, but I just wanted to talk to you. Do you want to look cool and attract the opposite sex? Now, if you don't like the sound, and I don't like this one, you can just change back to something else. That's better. I've owned dozens of synths and workstations over the decades, and I love them all. But there has only been one instrument that made my family get up and dance around the living room as I played. Can you guess which? One more time.
made the wrong chords, never mind. Here we go. And again. to the main section. Okay, I've got the strings on, never mind. 